what the surprise look is from actually clicking on the video so that was a little fun part i don't know if it was fun to y'all but it was kind of fun to me but besides that i am going to be showing you guys how to get that look and also i'm going to be doing a review on the ColourPop ultra metallic lips now i know there are four in the collection but i only bought three because one of the colors was like it was like super super red or like i don't know i don't know if it was like a deeper red or a brighter red i don't know i just know that it looked like a grandma color and i was just like i just can't make myself spend money on it and i'm sorry but i just got three of the colors that i like the most and i'm going to be using one of the colors in the look and also i'm just going to give y'all a little uh tips and just run down on how i feel about the metallic lippies and you are as y'all guys probably know, they only run for like six dollars. As most of the ColourPop lipsticks do. But if you guys want to see how I got this look, and if you want to hear me run my mouth about the ColourPop metallics, then please keep on watching. So I already did my eyebrows, and I'm gonna set my eyes with the LA Girl Pro Concealer in Fun. If, and I set my eyes with the Pro Concealer in Fun because some days I don't like. Well, most of the days now I don't like using a um eyeshadow primer because it kind of just gets on my nerves and uh usually i don't have to add more la girl pro concealer to my eyes because when i get done my eyebrows as y'all saw in my eyebrow tutorial you can just bring the excess that you have down but today i made a mistake and i wiped it off but it's okay and I'm just using a concealer brush to blend it in. The brushes I'm using today will be a mixture of Morphe brushes and a Coastal Scents uh, set I got. I really don't like, I mean, I don't hate them, but they don't have the best brush sets. But I had, I had this set for so long and I really just need to redo my entire brush collection. So that's why it's gonna be like a bunch of different brushes. And I also got some brushes from BH Cosmetics as well. They're, they're pretty good. I'm just setting my eyes with some translucent powder. I'm going to be using my two favorite palettes today. The Morphe 35O palette and the Carly Bible palette from BH Cosmetics. And these are my two favorite palettes because they're inexpensive as heck. And I just love the colors for some reason. Like they have like the Carly Bible palette has of course some great highlighters. But her um... The colors are really gold and pinkish and I just I I'm attracted to colors like these not only with makeup but with clothes as well. And with the 35 O palette, you can do a bunch of combination even though most of the colors look like fall tones. And the pans are really big and they're creamy. And yeah, these are probably the two most um used palettes that I have. And of course, I don't know why I don't know why I haven't made a, a palette of single shadows yet. Or you put this in a Z palette because I'm lazy and I'm trying to buy too much stuff at different times. But oh, <laughs> but I am going to be going in my crease with caramel, and I'm going to be using a Morphe E27 brush. Well, I just use this brush to blend all of my colors. Like, I know you're supposed to go in with different brushes and with a clean brush to blend all of them in, but I kind of just, like, did this one and everything. It's, I got a new MAC brush, so we're going to see how that works. Because that one, I got the MAC 221, and that one is good to blend and uh, diffuse your edges out. i just been, like, super discombobulated in my life. It's been like good stuff been happening and bad stuff, so I kind of been like in shambles, but not in shambles. So I'm just like, Jesus, take the car. Don't take the wheel, just take the whole car. I like using caramel as a transition color because it's still, um, it's not too dark, so it's really close to my skin tone, but it still gives a nice brown, tannish, caramelly finish. 
because it's really I don't know for some reason for it's really really hard for me to find a transition shade like I can't find a transition shade to save my life but yeah I'm just gonna keep blending it in my crease So I'm gonna go in with a deeper color from the Morphe 35 O palette. It's like some days I know exactly what shade I want, some days I don't. So I'm gonna be going in with this color and I'm gonna see if it's dark enough. If it's not, I'll be going in with another color. Sometimes the colors in the pans, that's the thing about this palette. Sometimes the colors in the pans don't pay off how you would think they would because like some of the deeper colors like they might all look the same but then some of them may be like a darkish like the dark colors some of the colors right here like they look like a dark brown but then they might come out like with a purple undertone or a gray undertone or something and it's really weird but i'm gonna go in i'm kind of going in with the same colors i use for my smoky app palette but it's probably not gonna be as dark as the smoky app, obviously but i am going in with this middle red color it looks like a brick so I will take this brick color. And another thing about caramel, it transitions into red really well. So if you want to do like a good bronzy look or look with reds and golds, then I would definitely use caramel as a transition. with this kind of deep brown it's not too deep it's a deeper brown color right under the brick color and I'm gonna keep I'm just building up the colors in my crease because when I do the halo I want it to transition easier once I put the dark colors to make the sandwich effect whatever you call it when you do a halo but all these colors going in my crease and I do not have a defined crease because I have like kind of hooded eyes but not really hooded eyes my eyes are like I'm still figuring out my eye shape, y'all. It's really weird. It's like it's hooded, but it's not hooded. But when I put clothes in my crease, they disappear. But then when I put them in the fake crease that I made, they end up being too high. So I'm just like, ah, what you doing? So I'm gonna go back in with that brick color just to diffuse the lines between that brown that I added. I just went in with my MAC uh, 221 brush and blend the colors even further. And I just kept packing on that dark brown color that I showed you guys. And now I'm going to go into my Carly Bible palette. And I'm going to add this deep purple color with a Morphe M330 brush. And I'm just putting it in the corner of my eye. And this brush is better to diffuse it than pack it on. I'm just now realizing that. So I probably will go back with a different brush to pack the color on more. And use this one to blend it out. Take one of my Coastal Sense brushes. And this is just a flat brush. I'm going to take that color from the Carly Bible palette again. But I'm really going to use it just to pack the purple into the inner corner and the outer corner of my eye. I'm gonna take that Morphe brush and I'm just gonna blend the edges out. And it doesn't really matter if you blend them that much because that this space we have right in the middle, I'm gonna put a pigment right there. So that's why it doesn't matter if these look a little crazy. As long as you have the dark corner on the inner and outer part, it doesn't really matter. And if you wanna keep uh, deepening the color, you can go in with the darker purple, but I'm just gonna keep building this one up. Because I don't want the colors to be too, too intense. Like, I mean, this could still be a nighttime summer look, but it does look kind of fall. But, yeah, if you had, you, of course you can change the colors out. Like, you don't have to do this, like, reddish, deepish, brownish, purplish thing that I'm doing. You can do another color combo. But just always start, of course, with a lighter color and then transition to a darker color. And just pack it on both of the inner corners of your lids. I'm going to go in with my MAC. Mixing medium liner and I got this uh, 
I got this tip from Alyssa Ashley. She's freaking amazing. I love her so much, y'all. Please go check out her channel. And she's probably in my little inspiration box on my channel. But yeah, she uses this to uh, keep the colors transferring from her lid when she adds pigments and glitters. And this is really good for hooded eyes. And it's just a clear, like gel type, it's like a gel type liner. And you place it wherever you want to put pigments or glitter. And it's going to keep it from transferring on your eye when you open your eyes. And then I'm trying to keep my eyes like half open half closed because i don't want to open my eyes and put pigment on while the, while the line is drying because then it'll start to transfer oh so i think i'm going to go in with this color from the morphe 35 o palette it's in the corner it's like a goldish it's like a i wouldn't say copper because it's not red but it's like a burnt gold i don't know y'all apparently i don't know my eyeshadow colors i need to get like i need to get it together okay this is pretty so I'm packing that color in the center of my lid. And I'm just packing that with the same brush that I used to place the mixing medium liner on my, uh, on my lid. Now to fix our shape, cause like you can kind of tell that this one is like, more pigmented than this one so i'm just gonna go back in with the second layer on this eye just to add some more pigment but yeah i'm going to take that morphe brush again and i'm going to get that purple color and we are going to ooh, I got to, we're going to fix those outer corners of the sandwich so it won't look too crazy and it kind of makes it smaller and just diffuses the lines better. But you can always keep going back and forth with both of them. Just to get it. Because like you can make it as wide as you want or as small as you want. But I like mine's kind of small. Because I like the deep colors coming out. Like as you can see it kind of fixes the edges for it and diffuses them out. Because if you just pack the pigment on without fixing the edges. Then you'll see that a harsh line between... You'll see the harsh line between the pigment and the and the uh, sandwich color. Most of the time, it'll take me like like ten minutes trying to get my um, pigments to be perfect on each other, but that doesn't matter. All right, guys, <laughs> we're done with the eyes. Y'all know um, I'm not a lashes girl. I don't wear falsies. I know, shocker. But today, I'm gonna try to do some on. If I don't get them all, then y'all can talk bad about me because I need to stick to what I say. And I'm gonna try to put some lashes on. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of the face and then we can get into the metallic lippies. Okay guys, so I finished my entire face. I have on zebra and i put man eater a little bit in the corner and the ultra metallic lips they're very very comfortable they're not super drying like some of the ultra mattes can be i know that um a lot of people don't really get the ultra mattes or talk about them any much anymore because a lot of people are complaining about how drying the formula is and these are not drying at all they are hard to get off so um, I know in one of my videos, my lippy video, I mentioned a way to get them off and you can just put some olive oil or tea tree oil on your lips and just wipe it off with a napkin and then wipe the excess lipstick off with a paper towel or a makeup wipe and it gets the lipstick off and it makes your, um, it makes your lips really, really soft after, afterwards too. But yeah, these, the formulas are really good. The color payoff is nice. And I can do a few swatches for you guys. They probably won't show up really good right here. So I should have them in the corner. But the colors I have are Three Way. Three Way is a reddish color. And it kind of has gold sparkles in it. Like, it's really pretty. It's not super, super red. It's kind of pink and zebra is more of a copper brownish color and this one the sparkles in um zebra aren't as 
bright is in one in three way and i think the only the only one that has like super crazy sparkles is three way and man eater is really really pretty i would say like this is the nude of the collection it's just a lighter brown and this one doesn't have a lot of sparkles but it's much brighter and of course they're gonna look different on other types of skin tones but they really did they did a great color range with these ultra matte metallic lips and i really like the payoff so i don't have anything negative to say about these bad boys so if you do want to try these out i know that a lot of other brands have some metallic lips i know that milani has had some good ones for a while and dosa colors had some for um they had some a while ago in a trio and i'm not sure if they'll bring them back or not be uh, metallic lips are on the rise and ColourPop has some great, great options. So, yeah, get the, get you some of these. Well, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Please, please, please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what other types of videos you guys want to see. I love you all so, so, so much. Stay blessed and be beautiful.